Hello and welcome back. Uh, this is a fresh video on free SafeHouse Explorer, uh, which is a free encryption software for Windows, and you can get it from uh, this website, uh, safehousesoftware.com, and I'll put the link in the description. And it's for um, Windows XP, Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8. Uh, only a small file, version 3.01, which I've used for a good number of years without any issues and problems. Very, very reliable. Um, it's good for backing up um, data that you want uh, d uh, safely put away on a DVD, say your pictures, photos, uh, any documents, and then without uh, a password no one can access them. <coughs> uh, there's lots of information of, on this and a comparison list and a manual on their website, but I'm going to go and show you how I went about doing uh, the installation on my computer. Once you've installed the uh, software, <coughs> the program looks like a padlock, which is like that, which is like a key with a padlock, and the container or the volume that's where all your private documents are is like like this one. So that's the container. That's the program. You need these two uh, to work on a different machine, which doesn't have. The program so the program will open the container and then you enter the password and that's how simple it is to open your files which are tucked away securely so <coughs> basically what you do is you open the program and this is what it looks like as you can see this is a uh, version 3.01 you create a new volume and this is where you start the process and it defaults to that folder and file name and uh, description. I'm going to leave this as it is because I've already got safe house uh, on there already. Uh, it's defaulted to a one after this, the file name so this is a new file. Uh, you can choose a different location from here uh, and you can uh, give it a file name of your choice and a brief description but it gives the extension SDSK for the volume uh, that's the private storage area and that becomes a virtual drive once you open it now you go to next and then here you select the option so say I do a 2 megabyte container which is not going to take long and uh, you leave that ticked and then click next and I'm going to give it uh, all the same password test but this is where you choose your own password and give it a very strong password to protect your files obviously if you lose the password you can't open the container or the volume so click next and then it gives you uh, before you create it gives you the description where it is and the volume and uh, you can create a desktop shortcut if you wish uh, I'm going to untick that but you can leave that to start off with and then you can just click on that on your desktop and it will open it and then you enter your password so create volume click that button then it does it very quickly finish then it gives you the option to open that container or volume so let's say yes and then it gives you a drive letter okay and then it says at the bottom that you've got 1.98 obviously used a little to to use for the program and then the description appears there and this is where you start adding your files so if, if I just uh, drag this one onto there and put anything pictures whatever you want until this gets full and it'll tell you so if I put this one in there so it says it's full so it won't do it because that's larger this is 4.5 which is larger than the 2 megabyte so you get the idea once this is full you just click click this across here to close the volume and that's it that's it it's secure right to open it you just basically go to file open because that's the last one that I opened um, I closed you just open that click open and there it is that's how simple it is now you must close this to put this once this is full to put it on the USB stick so you can copy files to the USB memory stick so insert that 
uh, when you're doing it click this button then it says this icon which is it'll copy the program which is the safe house explorer dot exe and then then it'll um, ask you if you want to copy the obviously you want to copy the volume so it, it's defaulted to safe house one which is the one I just created then you put it put the uh, where the find where the drive is so once you put the drive in it'll read the drive and the num letter and you select that from here and then click start to begin I won't do that now so what it'll do is it'll copy the program which is the exe file which is that one right and then the con volume and that's it you then go to a different machine you don't need to install it just open that you don't need admin rights uh, and then open open the program and then open the container find the container uh, the volume rather and it'll open it and then you enter the password that's it uh, you can start creating lots of containers uh, let's open it uh, what I found is that if you for a DVD see it's gone to 2 I mean you can change that I'll leave that as it is because uh, it's number 2 and then you for a DVD uh, which is 4.7 gigabyte I found the best size is 4400 and that's the maximum okay that's the maximum for a DVD without going over and then you can get the full capacity of the DVD that you can uh, put all your documents in I've already created it uh, and because it'll gonna take a few seconds to a few minutes rather and I'll open the volume I'll do it from here actually because you can do it from by clicking the volume because that's four four point well four 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 zero zero so it's four five zero zero so when you burn that it'll burn on the DVD without issues along with this program so you do that select that and that and then burn it onto a DVD okay so let's open the volume double click on that asks for a password and automatically gives it a virtual drive character click open and, and there it is and then you can delete the files from here you can um, right click explore delete rename properties etc um, you can edit on this machine but when you do take it away t on a different machine which doesn't have the program installed and you use this program to open it um, unless you go admin rights you can't read write um, I found that you can just uh, read the um, documents or whatever um, and that's basically it so close that uh, to uh, copy I've already shown that you can create an extract volume file self extracting and do all these bits uh, that's indicated there um, and that's it is a help file there's a ch uh, check one but I've used this free one for a number of years without any problems um, hope you like the video thanks for watching bye for now